Hi, welcome to the WNC Nature Center. I'm Dan Clear, and I'm here today to share with you the various instruments in your adventure pack. Wind has enormous energy and is caused by heat from the sun. Because the earth is heated unevenly, we have areas of high and low pressure. When air moves between these areas, we call it wind. Wind is an important aspect of weather. The air mass that's moving in may be a different temperature or may hold a different amount of moisture. Meteorologists, weather scientists, measure both wind speed and direction. To gather this data, we will use a wind meter and compass. These two instruments will allow us to determine the speed and direction at a specific location on the ground. Both instruments require you to face the wind. When determining speed, hold the wind meter vertically in front of you so you can read the speed scale. Make sure you don't block the two holes in the back side of the meter. This will tell you the wind speed in miles per hour up to 10 miles per hour. If the little white ball is going higher than number 10 on the low range scale, you should place your finger on top and read the high range scale on the right side of the meter. This will tell you the wind speed up to 66 miles per hour. You should expect the ball to bounce up and down just as the wind speeds up and slows down. Write down the highest speed under gusts on your data sheet. Write down the average speed under average wind speed on your data sheet. To find the wind direction, continue to face the wind. Hold the compass flat in front of you. The magnetic needle floating in front of you turns in relation to the Earth's magnetic field. When held properly, the needle always points toward magnetic north. By lining the wider dial needle up with the floating needle, you learn the wind direction. As long as the compass points straight out in front of you and you are facing into the wind, the dial now states the direction the wind is coming from. In this case, we see the wind is coming from the west. Well, that sums up the wind meter and compass. We hope this video gives you a better understanding of how to use the various instruments in the adventure pack, and we look forward to your visit to the Nature Center.